Mr. Fetter? Wink! <laughs> that was at my own wedding. Oh, no, I did it again. <laughs> Not to worry, Wink. Luckily, there's a medication that can control narcolepsy. Your sleep attacks are triggered by laughter, which is not uncommon in the annals of narcolepsy. Makes great bedtime reading, by the way. <laughs> wait, wait. So, until we can clear up the condition, it's important for you to try not to laugh. <laughs> wait! Oh, sorry, Doc. Hey, I'm gonna write you out a prescription now. Um, so, I... <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, I am a professional doctor, all right? Please, Doc, I can't take it anymore. Okay, okay. Let's just try and pull ourselves together, Wayne. You didn't drive here yourself, did you? Well, no. You never know when you might see a funny billboard. <laughs> Wayne, 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 Wayne! Um, maybe it'd be better if you couldn't see me. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, hello. There you go. Oh. Okay, Wayne. Uh -huh. We're walking towards the door now. Yeah. In a very unfunny way. <laughs> Nothing funny in this. Oh. And just reaching for the doorknob, turning the doorknob, uh -huh. pulling the door open, and going yeah. through the doorway, and we're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a doctor in the house? Yes. Which is why it's important for all of us to include fiber as a part of our daily diet. Because when uh, we Dr. include. Mike, we're out of time. Shh. <laughs> fiber is the most effective way to Dr. clean. Dr. Mike, we really have to. Hey, can you give me a break here? Can't you see I'm trying to work here? <laughs> As you'll see, fiber goes right through to the large intestine where And it... that's all the time we have right now from Wake Up Problems. Come on, I'm Join trying to work here! Oh, you bit me! <laughs> Bits! Oh, what did you call me? Female dog. Oh. <laughs> that's it! From Wake Up Providence. <laughs> And um, we'll be back tomorrow with another handy medical tip. <laughs> okay, we're out! Beautiful work, Strat, for just beautiful work. I just love those screw-ups. You're a comic genius, Dr. Doofus. <laughs> Listen, I want you to be a medical genius now. Oh, come on, come oh, on, man. come on. Stan Wellman, Mike Stratford. Hey, I'm a big fan of yours. Dr. Doofus. <laughs> Stan's my weight loss man. See, Mike, uh, I used to be heavy. Oh, come on, George. You were a porker? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was huge. But I've already dropped 150 pounds since I started on Dr. Stan's Pounds Off Diet Shakes. Which I'm test marketing right here in Providence. Excuse me, maybe I could give Pounds Off a try. George? We could follow her progress on the show. <gasps> Great idea! <laughs> Listen, I want you to interview this man on your next segment, okay? <laughs> Why? Because dieting's a hot topic, a now topic, yeah. and it's going to be a huge, huge, huge topic. And your ratings sure could use the help, Dr. Mike. <laughs> <laughs>
Hit me again, I'm a Christian. <laughs> Fine, we'll do a diet segment. Great. I really want you to get excited about this mic. Oh, I am. I think it's going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a large hole, huh? You don't like this? Try it the other way. Yeah. What? You mean like this? Well, or I was thinking maybe we could say, <laughs> what have we here? Okay, tell me what's wrong with it. Busy, yet uninteresting. Colorful, and yet somehow incredibly dull. Basically, it's butt ugly. <laughs> since when did you become such an art expert, dear? Oh, since when did you get so touchy? I mean, it's not like you painted it. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> you really think it's that bad, even for a beginner? Yes. Yeah, Gail didn't like it either. She says she'd rather frame a wet rag. <laughs> this is better than a wet rag. A used wet rag? <laughs> tell you what, hang it up there anyway. Go ahead, put it up there. Just don't tell anybody you did it. <laughs> well, yours is just one opinion, Deirdre. Somebody might like it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Problem, Greg. My God. <laughs> no problem. No, this uh, this ought to fix it right up. Listen, did we pay for this? No. Good, because the frame is nice. No, <laughs> no way, hey, man. No. Hey, hey, one of my patients, Sonia Diesenhouse, did this. She gave it to me, and I promised her that I would hang it up. You promised? Her. Yes, I promised her. <laughs> These people. Day and night, night and day. I mean, isn't it enough that we heal them? Sonia Wiesenhaus? Not a word. Jeez. Wow. What? Raymond Burr exploded. And we missed it. It's a painting. Yes. I see the subtle interplay of tonalities. You do? The Cherubusco effect. I love that crazy effect. The okay. delicate yet bold impasto. Yeah, the innovative bold. use of negative values to hyperindicate and counterbalance the polyperspectival space. Exactly. You like this? You kidding? I've lanced things that look better. <laughs> Where did it come from? The Lizzie Borden Valentine collection. Really? You do? Yeah. You want it? Sure. <laughs> I love pictures of nude servicemen. I love that detail. See those tattoos? <laughs> Okay, we're on in 10. Hey, I wanted to invite you guys to my birthday party. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sure, thank you. <laughs> okay, you can come, Mike, but only if you do some animal balloon tricks. Here we go in five, four, three, two. On today's health update, we're d -d 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 doubling our doctor dosage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> First, over to you, Dr. Mike. <laughs> Terence Trent Darby. <laughs> Americans are obsessed with being thin, and here to talk about that obsession is Stanley Wellman, diet doctor. Well, actually, I'm a medical doctor who specializes in the treatment of weight problems. See, Mike, years of research have led to my development of a breakthrough powder called Pounds Off. Isn't it wrong to make people believe there's an easy cure for being overweight? <laughs> My friend, there is an easy cure, and it's right in this little packet. Come on, Pounds Off is just another diet gimmick. <laughs> pounds Off is not just another diet gimmick. It is a scientific breakthrough. Yeah, right. The wheel, the printing press, fusion, and Pounds Off. <laughs> You may mock me, doctor, but the people who matter to me are the ones out there who use and love Pounds Off. Like me. <laughs> but Pia, you've used and loved so many. <laughs> That's true. 
With pounds off, dieting has never been easier. I still say nothing beats proper exercise in a sensible diet. And there you have it, folks. Two doctors, two diets, and two different pan sizes. Hello. I'm Sam, the stage manager, and I lost over five pounds in one week using Pounds Off. Hi, I'm JB, the cameraman, and I lost six pounds in one week on Pounds Off. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous stuff. It, 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 it was controversial, it was provocative, it was stimulating. It was free advertising. Well, that too. I told you, George, I do not do plugs. Yeah, well, maybe you should. Put your hands off me, you quack, and get off my set. Walt Stratford, watch your tone. This man is a savior. He's a healer. He changed my life. I know, George. You used to make Orca look anorexic. Fat <laughs> Joe Stratford? You know, there are a lot of people out there just as fat as George. Was. There's a huge audience out there, Stratford. A big, fat audience. And you know what, Stratford? I think we should do a Pounds Off segment each and every week. Wait, I have to share my show with him? No, you have to share my show with him. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. You're gonna have to choose him or me. I choose him. <laughs> choose again. I choose him again. Three out of five? <laughs> Who needs a dumb TV show? Not me. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> Fame was getting to be such a burden anyway. <laughs> That's a great attitude, really. I mean, I, if it was me and Dr. Stan sort of blew into town, stole my show, and the ratings went up, uh, I might be upset. The ratings are up? Where'd you hear that? Overnights. <laughs> I highlighted the important parts. <laughs> Don't believe it. People will watch anything. Well, I guess that explains the success of a very Brady Christmas. You know what I say? I, I just say, get it out. Say it all. It's just that it was my show. Yeah. I know I screwed up sometimes, but they said they liked that. I know they did. Maybe it's stupid, but I thought I was helping people. You were. You were. And then this, this quack comes along, yeah. he steals my yeah. show, and he uses it to pitch his stupid powder. Oh, that hurts. It hurts a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know if this means anything, but I'm here for you. Thanks, Grant. That's really nice of you. No problem. Absolutely no problem. There is uh, just one thing, you know, I, I, I do want to be up front with you. I did send my picture and resume over to Wake Up Providence in case it doesn't work out with that diet guy. <laughs> hey, hey, what is there, two of these things? I thought Faye took that home. Nah, she said it scared her boyfriend. Wow. And he's on the run from a murder rap. Right. You said you liked it. Is like really the word I use? I'd like to see the transcripts on that. Okay, to tell you the truth, Mike, Sonia Diesenhaus knows you feel really terrible about getting canned from your TV show, so she wanted you to have this painting to make you feel better. She is so sweet, she'll just do anything for her special friend, Dr. Mikey. Oh. All right, I'll take it. I guess it won't clash with anything in my apartment. <laughs> That's great, man. You wouldn't want to, like, drop a couple of bucks on Sonya for this, would you? <laughs> Just to make her feel good. Hey! All right, I'll go put it in your car for you. <laughs> i tell you, Mike, it's going to grow on you. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> hey. Hey. How you doing, Mike? Oh, fine. I've put Wake Up Providence behind me. Good, man. So, how's it hanging? The painting, I mean. <laughs> you were right about Sonia's painting. I have grown to love it. Well, Mike, I know for a fact that Sonia will be very happy and very proud to hear that. Well, you can tell her it livens up my whole place. I found the perfect spot for it. <laughs> Where? Old fireplace? Mike, did you mean to throw this out? <coughs> throw it out? Throw it out? Yeah, because the garbage man wants extra to haul it away. <laughs> really livened up my garbage. <laughs> There's three of these things? We're going to have to find the nest and kill the queen. <laughs> Not you. Excuse me. Excuse me, Dr. Stratford. Uh, there's a little surprise waiting for you in examining room A. Sorry, uh, medical junk. Gotta go. No. <laughs> well, you guys don't see anything redeeming in my uh, patient's work? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding, Abe? It's crude, it's rudimentary, and it's aesthetically horrifying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you mean that in a bad way? <laughs> 
So, Richard, what are we gonna do with this painting? What you mean, we, white men? <laughs> I know what we do. Excuse me. We take it out back, and we let Faye run over it with her RV. Hey, that works for me. Oh, wait! This is... is Deirdre! Deirdre's here. So what? Deirdre might want she it. She doesn't watch She it. might <laughs> want it. I know that she would not want Sonia's painting to get destroyed, not with all the time and effort and love that Sonia put into this painting. Why, that would just break Sonia's little Stop. heart. Stop. I'd be glad to. I'd do anything for an untalented, desperate old woman with a mustache. <laughs> Dee Dee, can we run over it anyway? I'll drive. Can we run over her? I mean, she's old. She probably can't move very fast. Okay. <laughs> All right, Pia, you are the last person I expected to see here. I know, Dr. Mikan. Well, I always think of myself as being, well, perfect. But for the last two weeks, I've been having trouble sleeping at night, and my head aches, and, oh, gosh, this is so embarrassing. Go ahead. I've been sweating. <laughs> Gee, and all that time I thought you'd had your glands removed. Removed? No, enhanced. <laughs> no, I meant the... Never mind. Uh. Says here your blood pressure's high and your heart rate's accelerated. Any stress? Guns N' Roses concerts? <laughs> Wondering why Axel's mother named him after a car part? No. Any medication? Amphetamines? Dr. Mike, I'm from West Virginia. We don't take anything we can't spell. <laughs> okay, there's no indication of any hyperthyroidism. Uh, been passing water a lot? What? Sprinkling the rose bush. <laughs> Raining on the tin can. <laughs> Polishing the old porcelain, you know. Oh, you mean Pete? Yes. <laughs> oh, my. Well, if every 20 minutes is a lot, then yes, I guess so. Well, there's a clue. Now, how about your diet? Have you eaten anything different lately? Um, no, all I've been eating are those shakes made with uh, pounds, pounds of. Right. All right, Pia, give me one of the packets. I'm going to have the lab take a look at it. And before you leave here today, I want a full blood workup and an EKG and stay off the pounds uh, off. Dr. Mike. Don't worry, Pia, you're going to no, be fine. No, wait, I... Well, I just, I wanted to tell you that I, I really wish you were back on the show. Really? You, you miss me? Yeah, I do. Plus, I, I miss having a dummy around. <laughs> <laughs> Take that as a compliment. I'm sure it was meant to be. <laughs> Here, Stanley, drink your orange juice. I squeezed it myself. What a woman. <laughs> okay, here we go. In five, four, three, two. Welcome back, Providence. Once again, today's health update comes to us from Dr. Stanley Wellman. Thank you, Pia. Of course, I don't want to waste these precious moments discussing pounds off my- Good. <laughs> and now I'd like to bring out a surprise guest. You all remember him, our former medical specialist, Dr. Michael Stratford. Welcome back, Dr. Mike. What's going on here? Stan, I realized the last time I was here, I gave you a hard time. That's all right, Mike. I don't hold grudges. Great, because this time it's going to be a lot worse. <laughs> I had a lab analyze the ingredients of Pounds Off. Would you like to know what I found? I would, Dr. Mike. Hey, 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 it works, and that's what counts. I found there's 3,000 milligrams of caffeine in a daily dose of Pounds Off. And isn't that a lot, Dr. Mike? I'll say, Pia, that's like drinking 30 cups of coffee a day. James Woods has started the day on less. <laughs> In fact, Dr. Stan seems to be a little jumpy himself. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. And why not? With all that extra caffeine, Pia put in your orange juice. <laughs> Nothing like a taste of your own medicine, eh, Doc? Uh, feeling the call of nature, Stan? Caffeine will do that to you. It's that way. Excuse me, Providence. <laughs> Actually, it's that way. <laughs> so, when it comes to diet, be sensible. It took time to gain all that weight, and it's going to take time to lose it. See you next time. Bye, Providence. Okay, we're out. 
Yeah. Yeah. Stratford, I want to talk to you. I'm sorry, George, but I had to do it. Are you kidding? I loved it. Expose. It was fantastic. Now I know I was so shaky all the time. It was these pounds off shakes. I'm off of this stuff. <laughs> you know, George, if you want to keep losing weight, you could use a real doctor. Yeah, and so could Wake Up Providence. Hmm, either of you know anybody? Oh, just kidding, Mike! <laughs> Be here tomorrow, okay? Do I get a raise? No. More airtime? No. My own parking space? Uh, no. Yeah! See you in the morning! Okay! Seven letters. The power of love. Abraham. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, hello, Deirdre. Ah, uh, you don't have to say a word. I tried, Abe. I did. Oh, Deirdre, I understand. Look, I'll paint you something else. God, no. No, that's all right. You don't no, I to. want to. Uh, look, what do you like? Boats on a lake? Or a bowl of fruit? Dogs playing poker. Name it. Abe. Huh? How are you with a camera? Okay, dogs in a boat on a lake playing poker for a bowl of fruit. <laughs> hey, you guys. You gotta read this. Sonia Diesenhaus, age 103, dies. Yeah, I heard last night, man. Keep reading. Okay, let's see here. Known as the Flame of Montparnasse, mistress to both George Brock and Pablo Picasso. Miss Diesenhaus' own paintings have become valuable collector's items. <laughs> Don't you get it? We thought this was crap! But it's not! It's worth a fortune! No, it's not. Yes, it is! No, it's not. Because this isn't her crap. It's... it's my crap. <laughs> you did it? Yeah. <sighs> what is it? Self-portrait. Your day-glow period. <laughs> Hey, the decent house is back. Oh, what, you got some more nasty remarks to make, Grant? Oh, contraire, eh? I, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but uh, I've started to appreciate it. You know, I've always liked the frame. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take it home and give it a good home. Already got a good home, Grant, thanks. See, I've grown rather attached to it myself. You have? Mm-hmm. Would $1,000 detach you from it? <laughs> Well, now, that would depend on whether or not I got any other offers. <laughs> 2,000! Like that. Three. Would you take four? I think it's worth more than Okay, four. you tell me what it's going to take. Oh, gosh, I don't know. $10,000 stop the bidding? Cold. $10,000? <laughs> Three zeros after the ten. Yes, I know. Thank you so much. $10,000. I tell you, I am a sentimental fool. I can't help myself. But a decent house is a decent house. Read that, won't you? Yeah! Any of you ever heard of Picasso? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's right. A decent house is a decent house. Yeah, except for when a decent house is a Butterfield. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna really keep that, are you? Ten grand, three ways. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Thank you.